Hi, Good Shepherd families. Welcome to the 2020-2021 school year. My name is Kim Whitehouse. I teach technology and I am the technology coordinator here at Good Shepherd School. This is the start of my 15th year at Good Shepherd and it will be my 20th year in the education field teaching young people. I'm so excited for this school year and everything it will bring. Just a little bit about me. Uh, this is, I have been married for 20 years uh, and I have three children. I have a junior and a freshman that both attend Champlain Park High School in the northern suburbs. And then I also have a fifth grader here at Good Shepherd in Mrs. Poplar's class. All three of my children have attended Good Shepherd and I've been so blessed to not only be a staff member, but also part of the parent community here at Good Shepherd School. This year we have so many new technology announcements. The first being that during the summer, we were able to purchase um, devices to make our school essentially a one-to-one -one device school, which is amazing to have that many resources for our students to use. Uh, the Chromebooks have not yet come in. We are expecting them, but because of the large demand for these devices, they are on back order. So for right now, we are uh, switching around schedules, making it work between different devices. But just so you know, our kindergartners and our first graders are fully one-to-one -one on iPads. Our second graders are currently working one-to-one -one with iPads, but will transition to Chromebooks once they arrive. Our third graders are sharing a MacBook Air cart that they have between the two classrooms. Our fourth graders are sharing a Chromebook cart that goes between the two classrooms. And then our fifth graders and sixth graders are still one-to-one -one with our MacBook devices. The fifth graders will transition to Chromebooks once those come in. So we are so, so blessed to have all these devices at our hands and at our fingertips. Also by doing this, we are able to move devices around and allow teachers to have an additional device in their classroom for screen recording, Zoom sessions, and all of those other things that we are now being thrown into and experiencing here at Good Shepherd. Um, technology, as we all know, is continuously changing, especially in the last six months. Man, have we all learned just a ton during this time period. And we'll continue to learn and develop and use new technologies as they come about. This year for our students here at Good Shepherd, you can expect that all students will have a ex uh, exposure and also be working with lots of different platforms. For example, all students will be exposed to and work with the Microsoft Suite applications. So Word, Excel, PowerPoint, the applications that we're all very familiar with. They'll also learn the Mac side of things as well. So they'll learn Pages, Keynote, and Numbers, which are great programs. With everything changing, we've had to use uh, Google Apps at a much younger age than what we have done in the past. All students here at Good Shepherd will have a Google Apps account, and those will be shared with you if they haven't already been. I know for the upper grades, those Google Apps accounts can usually be found in the student's assignment notebooks. And those Google accounts do stay the same throughout the year. So once the kids have them memorized and they know their login information, it's great because they can use it from year to year as well as you can know what that information is. If you ever have any questions regarding their Google Apps accounts or anything like that, you can let me know. In addition to that, we're going to be using lots of other technologies as well. For example, in our younger grades, we'll be using the app Seesaw that's currently being rolled out and students are being put into that student system. I know it was used uh, quite a bit with our first graders last year during our distance learning time, and they had a lot of great success with that. So we'll be implementing that with our younger students this year. In addition, we may be using Flipgrid, Screencastify, which I'm currently using right now to record this presentation. Also, um, Zoom, Google Meet, and many, many other applications that are out there that will really benefit our students. If you ever have any questions on those applications, you can always contact me or the classroom teacher, and we would be happy to help. 
In addition to that, I will be sending out different links and videos for parents, our parent community, to help teach some of these basic applications like Google Classroom and Seesaw. I have not yet done that because we are still working on figuring out what some of those settings are going to be and how exactly those applications are going to work. But you can expect to see um, parent videos in the next probably two weeks uh, with lots of information and resources for you to use and help with your child um, when they're working on assignments and such at home. Always, like always, we will be doing keyboarding in our upper grades from grades two through six, and then also working with internet and real world safety rules with um, all of our students pre-K to sixth grade. That's something that I feel very passionate about, um, having students understand just what um, the internet, how powerful a tool it can be, but also some of the things that we need to be aware of when we're online and how to keep our personal information safe and how to use uh, the technologies correctly. So of course we'll be doing all of that. We will also get into uh, some video editing, coding, and of course having um, some fun days in here as well, just working and exploring different websites. So a great year of curriculum planned ahead for your children. Um, it's been great to see the students um, they have shown so much excitement, especially with learning how to use these new devices and learning how uh, technology can really impact their lives and how we can use it uh, to communicate and be with others, especially in this weird distance learning um, and weird pandemic time period that we are all experiencing going through together. Please know that I am a resource for you. Uh, you can always contact me with uh, a phone call or via email if you have any technology concerns or if your child does have a device at home from Good Shepherd and you are having any sort of problems, please just reach out. I'm more than happy to uh, do a remote session, uh, meet in person, or do a phone call. 